My client had wasted thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to get clients. She had written a book. She had spent a ton of money on ads. She had worked her way onto stages. She had paid for stages, but still she had almost nothing to show for it. She wasn't getting any sales. She really wanted to quit her day job and go full time but she was just struggling to get paying clients. Does this sound familiar to you? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So what happened? She was doing all the things that people tell you to do. She was spending money on ads. She was getting on stage. She had written a book. The thing that was missing for her, when she came to work with me, we were sitting down and we were looking at something and the main thing was that her catchphrase was, I'll help you up level your life. Now, I know a lot of coaches out there, a lot of consultants out there talk about this. I'll help you make more money in your business. I'll help you up-level your life. I'll make things better for you. That's vanilla. That doesn't work. It's too plain Jane. It doesn't get them anything. The other thing that I see is people who list out bullet point after bullet point after bullet point. We're gonna do this. We're going to meet three times a week. We're going to do a ton of worksheets. We're going to, we're going to do live events. We're going to sit down and we're gonna break out everything that you do and we're going to change your life. Well, that's also not good because not only is that vanilla, but it also sounds like a lot of work, right? People want a clear, concise, measurable outcome. And that's one of the first things that I work on with all of my clients. So in the REACH method, the R, the very first thing is coming up with a real measurable result or outcome that you get for your clients. Because here's the secret, your ideal client only cares about what's in it for them. Do you solve their pain point and get them to where they want to go in a clear, concise manner? There are so many coaches and so many consultants out there who just say, I'm gonna help you get where you want to go. Well, that's not awe-inspiring. That doesn't give me the confidence to say, you're gonna take me from where I am to where I wanna go. Okay, cool. If it's just, yeah, I'll help you get there, it doesn't give them a roadmap. So how can you use this in your business today? So the first step in this is what does your client really want? And the way that you can figure this out the quickest and the easiest is look at your competition. Look at people that were one, two, or three levels above you and look at what they are selling. Chances are that it is a specific outcome. And whatever that specific outcome is, you can model that. I am in no way telling you to copy it. You should not copy exactly what they are doing. You can look at what they are selling to see the outcomes that are selling in your market. Number two, don't focus on the travel, focus on the vacation. Sell the outcome. So many coaches and consultants get stuck with listing off bullet points and talking about themselves and what they're going to do for somebody. Your clients don't care about that. Sell the sizzle, not the steak. If I talk to you about how juicy a steak is and how it's seasoned perfectly and how it's gonna come out with truffled mashed potatoes and green beans and asparagus, your mouth starts to water, you start to get excited. But if I talk to you about how the steak came from a cattle ranch with thousands of cattle on it and it was treated inhumanely and it went to a slaughterhouse and they killed it and then it went through a butchering plant, right? Nobody cares about that. They care about what's in it for them. Sell the vacation not the travel. Now you might be saying, well, Steve, I want to do that, but I need to be different. I need to stand out in my marketplace. You absolutely do. Here's the secret. There is nothing new under the sun. The reason that people will buy from you, especially as a coach or consultant, is because they know, like, and trust you. They want the outcome and they want to buy it from somebody they know, like, and trust. And the way that you become somebody they know, like, and trust is through communicating with them, through offering them a clear, concise outcome and then gaining their trust through working with them, through telling them stories, through interacting with them. So know, like, and trust is better than
something new. Now to prove this point to you, think about weight loss. If I come to you and I say, you know, I can help you lose 15 pounds in the next 30 days in just 20 minutes a day. That's a clear, measurable statement. Now, how do I build your trust? Well, I talk to you about how I did it. I tell the story around how I was overweight and I went on a diet and I went on this journey to learn how to lose weight. And I tried several different diets and I tried several different exercise routines and those worked for me. That's what I'm talking about here. So that's step number one, is what do they really want? So what results have you gotten for yourself and what results have you gotten for your clients? Now you might be saying, well, Steve, I don't have any results yet. I'm just getting started. That's okay. Go offer to work with some clients for free and get them results. This is where it goes back to what do they want? Pick that out and get them the result. Once you have gotten some results, then you can start talking about how to sell it and how to monetize it. So things you wanna look for here, pain that you solved, pleasure that you got them into. So what pain points did you solve? If we go back to the weight loss example, we can look at this as suddenly my clothes started to fit a whole lot better. I started to go on more dates. That's a positive. What negatives did it solve? Well, when I got up in the morning, I, I didn't feel drained. I felt like I had way more energy, right? Solving pain points. Look at those because that is going to tell you what results you get for people. Okay, number three, measurable. So the last piece is that it must be measurable. Now, when you're working on this statement, you want to start with it and you wanna say, I help who, what results you get for them, singular result. You cannot use the word and. Here's the thing. If when you use the word and, it cuts the power of your statement in half. You do not want to have that. You want to have a singular result. Then you want to have a time frame, and then you want to have a so you can statement. So my statement is I help coaches and consultants get seven to 10 clients that will pay them four to $6,000 in the next 90 days so that they can quit their day job and live the life of their dreams. Do you see how that works? It's a very clear, measurable statement that shows them exactly what they can do. So that is, you start with the person who outcome, time frame. And so they can. Now, if you do this correctly, it's a short, concise statement that says exactly what the outcome is that they want, that you're helping them provide. It tells them a time frame so that they know that they can get it. It sounds like a clear roadmap. And it provides them with a so they can statement so it starts to paint the picture and get them where they're going. Do you want the free workbook that goes with this training? There's a link down in the description that will take you to my workbook that shows you five easy steps to get paid coaching and consulting clients so you can quit your day job. All right, guys, have an awesome day and I will see you next time.